welcome to the Medicos update. We are trying to make you up to date with latest medical news and journal from around the world. And without further ado, let's move on to the today's update. Latest medical news from around the world. It is presented by Medicos and it is episode 20. Red meat intake tied to higher coronary heart disease risks. The finding from Large studies support recommendation for plant-based and lean animal sources of protein instead of red and processed meat or eggs. As these sources offer significantly lower risks for coronary heart disease mortality. Total red meat included processed meat and unprocessed red meat. Animal protein sources included seafood, poultry, eggs and low and high fat dairy products and plant protein sources included nuts and beans and people with healthy obesity are still at increased risk of disease a new study published in diabetologia reveals that having a normal metabolic profile doesn't mean that a person with obesity is actually healthy since they face an increased risk of diabetes heart diseases strokes and respiratory disease weight management could be beneficial to all people with obesity irrespective of their metabolic profile the term metabolically healthy obesity should be avoided in clinical medicine as it is misleading and different strategies for defining risk should be explored and study says light and treatment options for devastating childhood brain cancer. The radiation treatment for medulloblastoma also can be challenging, especially in younger children whose brains are actively developing in these areas. Research performed whole exam sequencing and DNA methylation profiling to us and patients to molecular subgroups. This was a critical step in conceptualizing this trial based on the latest biology and so some important differences in how children respond to therapy that would otherwise not have been clear. Results from this study will play a vital role in designing the next generation of clinical trials for children with medulloblastoma. And saliva can be more effective than nasopharyngeal swabs for COVID-19 testing. The collection of nasopharyngeal swab samples for COVID-19 diagnostic testing poses challenges including exposure risks to healthcare workers and supply chain constraints. Saliva samples are easier to collect but can be mixed with mucus or blood. Some studies have found they produce less accurate results. A team of researchers have found that an innovative protocol that processes saliva samples with a bead meal homogenizer before real-time PCR testing results in higher sensitivity compared to nasopharyngeal swab samples. In external trisimilar nerve stimulation passes at home test, a phase 3 same control clinical trial of an external trisimilar nerve stimulation device should confirm superiority over a same device and eliminated the most bothersome migraine symptoms after two hours of use. That's it from us in this update. That is references of today's update and thank you for your time.